Welcome to our weekly waffle this week. Uh, Luke kicked us off with the Israelites last week, a tribe of people who had, um, with the help of Moses, escaped slavery in Egypt and were now traveling around in the desert, in the wilderness, in this sort of in-between kind of space, hoping for the promised land. As Luke uh, mentioned last week, a lot of them were craving actually some of those foods and those comforts and that security of that time when they were experiencing the horrors of slavery, kind of looking back with slightly rose-tinted glasses because this in-between space was just quite frustrating and difficult for them. They were sort of really craving that familiarity and the security in it, even when that wasn't actually really a great time for them. And they're also, I guess, hoping for this promised land that's ahead of them that God has promised and sort of like, why are we here? Why are we wandering the desert? And so along the way, sometimes they miss God's presence. They miss some of God's miracles in God's provision of food and water and presence with them. And when they traveled around in the desert, they took this thing called a tabernacle, which is basically like a huge festival tent that God gets to chill in so that God's presence would be with them as they traveled wherever they would go. And during the day, there'd be this big pillar of cloud uh, coming out of it. And by night, there'd be this big pillar of fire so that they knew this huge visual reminder that God was with them and that God was guiding and leading them through this difficult, in-between, messy kind of time. And so it was quite difficult for them and they often looked back for that comfort and security or look forward for that comfort and security, even though they had this very visual, massive cloud, massive fire reminder that God was like, I am still with you, I am for you, I'm not going anywhere and I will provide for you even in a time that is difficult. But even with these billowing clouds and this billowing fire, um, they were still struggling in this time. And we can probably relate to some of the Israelites when it comes to thinking about this in-between time that we're in. We're looking back to those days when we used to be able to go on holiday and pretty much kind of socialise with people whenever we liked and like eat food at the same time as other people, which now just feels really weird. Um, Or we're looking forward to those dates when we can start to do things um, safely again with other people and not have to to worry about loads of restrictions and um, the effects of all sorts of different things. And, you know, imagining that day when Nando's is not just takeaway and we can just actually sit around a table with other people and all those kind of things that we're hoping for in the future and excited for and, and looking forward to. But sometimes that makes the here and the now, the wilderness, the in-between, quite frustrating, quite difficult, quite lonely. And even though the the end is kind of on the horizon, there is a light that is coming, it can still make the everyday here and now feel quite difficult. We can know that God's presence is with us, that God's hope is with us. We might not have big clouds or big fires, but actually God is still saying those same things. I am with you, I'm not going anywhere, I am for you and I will provide for you. And so where can we find those clouds, that fire, in the brightest of days to the darkest of nights, that God is with us, that God's not going anywhere, that God can give us hope in the here and now. Where might we find that in the next week?